In this video, I'm going to show you an example of an ACT math problem where you need to know properties of vectors. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So what is a vector? A vector is a quantity that has both magnitude and direction. If I were to show you a vector on a graph, uh, using the x and y axis, I would draw it from the middle out to some distance there. The length of that line would be magnitude r, and the angle that it forms would be theta. And I would write the vector in this notation with the angle brackets, magnitude r at angle theta. Now this can be considered polar coordinates. You can also write a vector in component form or rectangular coordinates. It could be A comma B, where A is your change in the X direction and B is your change in the Y direction. If I have a vector U, it could have coordinates of a, b, a vector v would have c, d. I can add these two vectors together. u plus v would equal a plus c and b plus d. So I added the x coordinates together and added the y coordinates together. And you can also multiply the vectors times some constant. If I multiply vector u by 2, it will end up giving me 2a and 2b. So these are the properties you need to know in order to solve the next problem coming up. So here it reads, the component form of vectors u and v are given by 5, 3, and 2, negative 7. Given that 2u plus negative 3v plus w, so the three vectors u, v, and w, equals 0, what is component form of w? So we need to add these two together, 2u and negative 3v. So I'm going to find 2u. You simply multiply each number by 2, so 5 times 2 is 10, 3 times 2 is 6, so we have our 2u is equal to 10, 6, negative 3v, we'll be multiplying each part of it times negative 3, so it'll give me negative 6 and positive 21. And then if I want to add those two together, it'll be 10 plus a negative 6, comma 6 plus 21. So that gives me 4 and 27. Now that results plus w has to give me zero. So if I had to add that result 427 plus w, in order for that to equal zero, I had to do the, each term has to add up to zero. So four and negative four would add up to zero. So four and negative four We'll add up to zero and 27 and negative 27 will add up to zero. So W will have to be negative four and negative 27. That'll be the component form of vector W.